Mobility, one of the most important aspects of human life. Competing in sport, reading and writing, playing a musical instrument, hugging a loved one. Something we can all appreciate the importance of given the last year. All physical activity that any person chooses to perform is permitted through neural control of the musculoskeletal system. The musculoskeletal system is made up of two major parts. The skeleton, where rigid components are connected by pivoting joints, and the muscles, which supply force to the skeleton to produce movement. Problems and diseases affecting one or both of these subsystems can hinder the mobility of an individual, with direct impact on their everyday work and social life. It is estimated that one in four people of working age in the UK have at least one musculoskeletal disorder, and this number only increases with age. Therefore, it is very easy to see the wider socio-economic implications that, the, that these disorders have in the UK alone. Where there is currently a fantastic amount of research geared toward understanding those diseases that attack the skeleton, such as osteoporosis and osteoarthritis, there is significantly less known about those diseases that attack the muscles. A prime example is sarcopenia, which is the age-related degradation of skeletal muscle. Estimates suggest that anywhere between 10 and 40% of people aged over 60 have either sarcopenia or probable sarcopenia. The clinical de definition of sarcopenia was only decided upon in 2014, and a clear description of disease characteristics such as progression, severity, and the identification of at-risk groups is not available. This disease certainly affects the daily life of individuals with it. They are more at risk of fall and therefore fracture, they can have poor gait characteristics, which incur problems within the skeletal system. And lastly, it simply limits their mobility. The reason for this lack in clinical understanding of this disease and others like it can be attributed to the difficulty of characterising the muscles within the human body. Fortunately, there are methods to provide this information. Medical imaging techniques such as magnetic resonance imaging bridge the gap between reality and computer visualisation of the internal anatomy. Segmentation is the tool that is used to, to isolate and characterise the individual muscles within the human body from this medical imaging data. The difficulty is that typically, segmentation requires manual processes that take substantial time and effort even for a trained professional to perform. The aim of my research is to automate the process of segmentation, allowing fast, operator-independent quantification and characterisation of the muscles within a person's body. Advanced image processing techniques have been employed for this goal, essentially building a representation of the muscles from a template. Success in this aim will catalyse research looking into muscle disorders such as sarcopenia and help the community to create a more comprehensive picture of disease mechanisms, with the potential to enhance disease diagnosis and produce more patient-specific management strategy. Thank you for listening.